Hi guys and girls, this is Claudia here from Metal Days 2017 with Nemos this time. Hi. Hey. 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 Nice to see you. Hey. So, uh, have you arrived today or have you seen something of the site already? Oh, uh, we arrived on Monday mm -hmm. and uh, we've seen most of the site last year mm -hmm. because we were um, playing last year on the second stage. Uh, so we were kind of... A Familiar in familiar spaces, mm. all of us. Um, I started uh, like um, first a comer, like um, not playing, you know. And uh, and uh, last year we had this show, and uh, we felt like home mm. already. Like uh, it's like going going home, <laughs> coming to Metal Days. Mm. I like the spirit. So you also saw some bands already. Uh, we saw some bands definitely, yeah. Uh, most um, we we haven't seen the same bands. I guess. Uh, oh, okay. Which, which one you, you split prefer? It up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which yeah. one do you prefer, guys? Which band? I think Abath was great. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was the funniest act ever. <laughs> that, was, that was beautiful. It's great. So there's uh, some inspiration coming, also from other bands when you write your music, or you say no, that's not what we are doing. Listening to other people, and there comes inspiration, but it's rather some uh, other we're source. Trying, we're trying not to. To think about mm -hmm. music in these terms, but right. uh, I guess that on a subconscious level, obviously there's some bands and musical influence that works within what mm -hmm. we do as musicians. But uh, I, I think we we have all different tastes. But uh, mm -hmm. some bands do do set themselves good into what we do. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know because uh, you have I'm, such a stylistic mixture. That's yeah, why I asked. Yeah, as far as as far as I'm concerned, I uh, haven't write uh, any music. Just mm -hmm. just. Um, wrote the lyrics and yeah. wrote my musical uh, singing, you know, but mm -hmm. Samuel uh, do, do, do write the music, so mm -hmm. maybe it's going to be... <laughs> yeah, Wait, so yeah, when I write riffs, I uh, try, because, you know, some bands, they're like, so let's play a Meshuga riff and then let's play yeah. uh, the, another riff in this style, so I try never to do that, but obviously we did not create the metal sound, so, you know, it's impossible to create out of nothing. Mm. Uh, so you know we do listen to each other things so you can hear that in our music but I try not to copy oh, yeah, anyone sure. but you know eventually well there you always have someone say hey, it sounds like this sounds like that yeah. but what's funny that is that very often we're told that we sound like a band that we've never heard of ah, <laughs> that's great <Yeah. laughs> then so, okay I'm gonna listen to them <laughs> yeah, exactly I'm like shit they, yeah they do sound like us <laughs> oh okay <laughs> but yeah as you said yeah we have a mixture mm -hmm. also I'm not the only one uh, writing songs for the band um, previously in our for our first two albums um, the former guitarist before mm -hmm. this guy uh, wrote about half the music as well so mm -hmm. yeah a lot, a lot of different things everyone listens to different kinds of music in the band so you can mm -hmm. yeah, I think you can hear that's it where the mixture comes from yeah. then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, when it comes to the lyrics what is your source of ideas like how do you go about writing the lyrics choosing topics uh, it's always personal matter mm -hmm. you know it's a very personal process um, always about um, resentments personal feelings mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, you know, I just do watch the world on a regular basis and uh, see what comes from from what I feel what mm -hmm. I what I read mm -hmm. what, uh, that, that's an everyday process you know right. and uh, when uh, when the music comes up I say no oh, well okay let's see what I feel today what I want to talk about um, I'm not really into you know, folklore, mm -hmm. musical stuff, like uh, like we said, um, like Amon Amaris is a great, mm -hmm. great band, but I I would never write something about Vikings, for instance. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. too folkloric, not very personal, and uh, to me it's yeah. a catharsis, and mm -hmm. uh, I have to write about, you know, mm -hmm. daily basis feelings and uh, mm -hmm. all that we lurk inside mm -hmm. uh, every day, and uh, that's it, mm -hmm. basically. So, uh, when you look at other bands or other pieces of art, like literature or you know paintings and all yeah. that like, what do you think is it that defines or who defines what an artist is so are you an artist i i'd like to think so <laughs> i like to think so but uh i won't say that i'm an, art, an artist with a big a you know i i do what i like and that's the, the only thing i i can think about i do mm -hmm. write for a lot of things like uh, about about 
you know, cinema, music, uh, just to just to speak about it, about mm -hmm. things that interest me. I don't think that makes me an artist, mm -hmm. but um, I'll go on stage for music and I, I share something. I think this is not my goal, but that's what I like to do. And uh, I like people who are doing things like with their balls, like, okay, I'm going to do this. And uh, no matter what people will think, uh, this is what I like. Mm -hmm. So I will do this that way. That's what I like with Nemost, for instance. We're mm -hmm. not saying, okay, this band does that and that works great. Uh, okay, let's, let's make some... Let's make, uh, uh, tired. <laughs> let's make something that will be uh, genuine. Mm -hmm. That's what I like with the, the term artist. Uh, mm -hmm. It has to go with genuine, mm -hmm. you know, being yourself. Um, not trendy mm -hmm. and um, do things right and uh, that's it basically mm -hmm. and I like watching uh, every every type of art mm -hmm. from movies to music to books I do read a lot mm -hmm. and I do write a lot and uh, that's how I see it that's um, again that's a daily basis yeah. process right so what do you think about that are you an artist who, who decides <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone gets to decide that you know uh -huh. like some people just, you know, they put a toilet on the wall and everyone's like, oh, what an artist. So, yeah, mm -hmm. what is art? Like, it's such a big topic and it's far, yeah. <laughs> it's way too big for me. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, sometimes I pick up the guitar and riffs just flow out of my fingers. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, that's, you know, that's pretty cool. So, not something everyone can do. A lot of people can do it, but yeah. not everyone. <laughs> I suck at a lot of things. If you leave me here alone, I can't go back to my tent by myself, Aww. essentially. <laughs> You'll find a way, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I do have a little bit of a gift for uh, writing music. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's something I can do. Mm -hmm. So you feel like you like have to do it? Yeah. I do believe that when you find yourself in a situation where you... You think you have an artistic gift? I do believe you have a duty to produce something mm -hmm. to make the world a little bit more beautiful than you find it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making the world a little more beautiful. Then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just That's trying, cool. Guys, just oh yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> not, not an artist. He's an optimistic person. <laughs> <laughs> so is that is that okay with being both or not? I, I guess it's better. <laughs> it's even it's better. better. That way, you know, to be a. Into music, I guess you have to be a both optimistic and a both pessimistic, and uh, uh, but a bit of the same, a bit, bit mixed of the two. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, what? I like to be an optimistic, you know. Yeah. Like I've had people tell me things like, like for example, one person who told me, you know, I lost my granddad recently, and uh, I listen to your music a lot, going through grief, and it helped me a lot. I was like, wow, you know, that's the first time when I was like, I'm actually doing something, you know, not just for fun, like something's uh -huh. happening for people's feelings through mm -hmm. this music so I'm like yeah it's, it's That's good. definitely worth doing it <laughs> That's wonderful Yeah So uh, what are your further plans? Anything? Um, the next plan next biggest plan I guess is to make a new album Ah uh, The third one mm -hmm. uh, Right now it has been partly composed and uh, we've been touring for a year and a half now I think and uh, we've done a lot of shows and now we really want to put ourselves into work to make a right. brand new brand new um, brand new album uh, bringing new things because this is this will be the first time we have this lineup with Bruno and uh, Thomas composing the both of them mm -hmm. when we arrived uh, we haven't composed the music was all composed mm -hmm. um, and that's the big plan now the album and um, maybe doing some shows here and there mm -hmm. because uh, this is an addictive process you know oh, making yeah. shows and touring and <laughs> we're, we feel very good on stage and uh, there's real alchemy mm -hmm. I think that Nemost is a band that has to be seen on stage mm -hmm. it has a brand new dimension and uh, I think this is uh, interesting but right now the biggest plan is the third album really. mm -hmm. so and we're looking for next year I guess uh, I can't say right now uh, <laughs> we, we still have a lot of a lot of work okay. to do right now, I so it. I can I, I don't want to say something that I will re regret. You know, just you know, watch like, their <laughs> channels, you know, and find out more about keep posting. We'll keep posting about yeah. this very soon, I guess. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.